Okay, welcome to the second part of this induction question. So the second part doesn't rely on the first part, but if you haven't already watched the first part, should go back and watch part one, because uh, it explains a bit why we do certain things. So, okay, we need to prove here, T of N is less than 7 over 4, or to the power N. And we're working with the Fibonacci sequence. Okay, so it's got all these definitions for the Fibonacci sequence, which you can have a look at by yourself. So, okay, the Fibonacci sequence. We want to prove, again, as in the previous video, we need to prove in step one for n equals one and n equals two, because this uh, recurrence relies on two terms. So, to prove first for n equals one, we have our left-hand side is equal to tn, which is t of one, and that's equal to one. And our right hand side is equal to 7 over 4 to the power 1, which is 7 over 4. Okay, and we can say that 1 is less than 7 over 4, which is the same thing as the left hand side is less than the right hand side. And so it's true for n equals 1. Okay. Again, for n equals 2 now, have n equals 2, have our left hand side is t2, which is 1 by definition again, and the right hand side is equal to 7 over 4 squared, which is 49 on 16. This is clearly greater than 1, so 1 is less than 49 on 16. So the left-hand side is less than the right-hand side, which means it's also true for n equals 2. Alright. Now, we need to make two assumptions, as in the previous video. So we're going to assume n equals k and n equals k plus 1 are true. So we need to prove, assume this for n equals to k and n equal to k plus 1. So assume that tk is equal to 7 over 4 or to the k and t of k plus 1 equals 7 over 4 to the k plus 1. Okay, so we're now required to prove the truth of any, um, n equals k plus 2. So we're required to prove that t of k plus 2 is less than 7 over 4 to the power k plus 2. Alright, let's have a look at the right hand side. Sorry, the left hand side. So left hand side is equal to t of k plus 2. But again, by definition, t of k plus 2 is t of k plus t of k plus 1. Okay, now we can use our assumptions and say that this is less than t of k is less than 7 over 4 to the k, and t of k plus 1 is also less than 7 over 4 to the k plus 1. All right, this is by assumption. All right. Now, this here, we can factor out 7 over 4 to the k from both of these terms. And we're left with 7 over 4 to the k, we get left with a 1 here, plus 7 over 4. Okay, and this is equal to 7 over 4 to the k. Now we can make a common denominator of 4. So 4 plus 7 is 11 over 4. Now, what's 11 over 4? We can rewrite this in a separate way. We can rewrite this as multiplying top and bottom by 4. We can get 44 over 4 not over 4, over 4 squared, which is 16. Okay, now, you might be asking why, what compels me to think to do that? Well, we want to prove this, we want to prove k plus 2, and so we want, we've want we already got 7 over 4 to the k here, we already have that, now we just want to get 7 over 4 squared. Now, well, this is still not 7 over 4 squared, but we have 44 over 16, this is less than 49 
over 16. And so here we can say this is less than 7 over 4 to the k times 49 over 16. Now, 49 over 16, we recognize that as 7 over 4 all squared. And so this is equal to 7 over 4 to the k times 7 over 4 squared. And so we can combine these two and we get 7 over 4 to the k plus 2. And so we can say that t of k plus 2 is less than 7 over 4 to the k plus 2. All right, and now we, we uh, give our final statement. So since true for n equals 1 and n equals 2, and true for n equal to k plus 2, if n equals k and n equal k plus 1 are true, then true for n greater than 1. We might want to say n is an integer. Right, so that's a symbol for integer. Okay, and that's the end of part 2. So the next part, part 3, will be done in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this video.